Hello, Namaste, Salam Alaikum, Sasrikal. Welcome back to another session with your washer at whatever.com. My friend used to say, if you continue to bug me, I'll make sure you stew in your own juices. She was kidding, of course. But this afternoon, I was thinking of her. My mind went back to the stew and juices and the joy of slow cooking. Today, we are going to learn how to make this complete nutrient-rich, delicious dish all in one. This dish is a peculiar dish because it started out being eaten in poor homes when they could not make many dishes or multi-course meals. But today, the stew has moved out of that mindset. It is a dish that graces large banquet tables simply because it is a delicacy and great flavor of its own juices. A stew is a combination of meats and vegetables that have been simmered and cooked for a long time and then served as a broth like a thick consistency. You know, a lot of people think that Indians don't make stews so much. But pretty much every home makes stews very often. But they don't know that they call it stews. For example, a lot of times we cook lamb and potatoes. It is a kind of stew. But it doesn't have the stew meats or the flavors that usually a stew needs to have. But we often do that. So today I'm going to show you how to make a simple lamb stew. Whenever you're thinking of stew, usually I like to use neck meat or a stew meat. That's what generally they are called because they've got a nice bone which will ooze out a lot of these juices and it also got some nice meat and a nice marble fat that makes it very tender over a slow period of cooking. And I also have some vegetables like potatoes, carrots, celery, leeks, you cut into nice big pieces and we are going to slow cook. Today I am going to show you how to make a lamb stew in a quick process. So I am going to use a pressure cooker also but you can see how step by step I cook this. I have some lamb that is a neck meat. I have a little bit of flour okay, and then mix this uh, lamb. Toss this meat with little bit flour so that there is a thin coating of flour on the meat and then we are going to slightly grill it and then put in the pressure cooker. Add some oil. We are going to sear this meat so that it gets nice color and then we are going to put it in the pressure cooker. So, here. If you go to an Indian meat shop and you ask for a stew meat, they may not know, but you know that the best part of for the stew is to use neck meat. But if you want to use boneless, you can go ahead and use boneless meat also for this process. We are going to let it uh, sear till there is a nice brown color on the meat. Now this uh, lamb is uh, seared a little bit. So I have a pressure cooker with little water. I am going to put all this uh, meat in here. So now I put the meat in the pressure cooker and then I am going to work with the vegetables here. Now I am going to add the whole garam masala spices, star anise, bay leaf, cardamom, uh, cloves, cinnamon sticks, add one chopped onion, saute the onions a little bit, you don't have to brown them, just saute them a little bit and then add ginger garlic paste. Add around uh, one and a half tablespoon of uh, poppy seed and coconut paste. As soon as you add poppy seed, just uh, mix it really good. And uh, just let it cook for uh, two minutes. Add a little bit of uh, finely chopped tomato. And then we are going to add around uh, half a cup of uh, yogurt. And then add half a cup of coconut milk. Add around one tablespoon of uh, vinegar. You know, if you want to add, you can add a little bit of jaggery. Add a little bit of green chili. And then we are going to add all these vegetables. Okay, and add some water also. We are going to add some salt. Let's cover this and cook it for a few minutes. In the meantime, the lamb also will be cooked to 70% and then we are going to add it here. 
Stews are usually thicker than soups. So they are usually thickened by the reduction of slow cooking process. Sometimes they are thickened by adding a roux or a flour. That is they add a little bit maida and butter, cook it separately and add it to the stew. But today we are going to thicken our stew with the potatoes we have used. In fact if you remember I coated the meat little bit on the flour and cooked. That also helps little bit thickening but not, it's not enough. Now you can see this um, potato is getting cooked and uh, the lamb also is uh, you know nicely cooked. So I am going to add all of them together. Okay. Uh -huh. This looks good already. Add some green peas. After adding this um, lamb to this mixture, now look at this. It is slightly simmering. Simmering is when the bubbles come on the top and burst. They should not be too much boiling. So, bring it to this level and cover it up. And then we are going to let this cook for at least 45 minutes in a very slow flame. That way the meat will become very tender and your potatoes will get nicely cooked. So, see you after another 40 minutes. And now it is almost 45 minutes and now this meat is nicely tender and you can see these potatoes also very nicely cooked. And look at this sauce, so beautiful and do not mix this stew too much because these potatoes are so tender. Let me show you. See if you take a small piece of potatoes, you just touch it, it will become mashed up. So these vegetables are very very tender. They do not have the crispy texture, they are very soft and you put it in your mouth, they literally melt off. The meat is also cooked in such a way and in the last just put some uh, coriander leaves and uh, look at this. This has got nice coconut uh, milk with the poppy seed and everything and it's also thickened with uh, potatoes and it is little light in color than rest of the stews that are served worldwide and uh, look at this lamb okay I cooked it for almost uh, one and a half one hour and actually in fact I cooked 70 percent uh, with the in the pressure cooker and look at this meat it literally come off the bone and it is so tender and this also has night jelly stuff ah. Hmm. See whenever you make lamb stew you can either eat it with rice or naan but if you really want to enjoy the lamb stew you either have it with pav or maida paratha. Maida paratha is little bit rich it is usually served with kormas and nice stews. We are going to learn maida paratha pretty soon. It is little bit skillful to make the maida paratha but I am sure you guys are ready to handle a maida paratha too. So let me taste this. Wow! And um, this stew is all ready and it's very very delicious. Sometimes instead of jaggery some people like to add little bit of honey into it. It's up to you but it's very juicy and tasty. You feel like eating your fingers when you have this along with your bread or paratha. And I am all ready to go and sit in front of the TV, watch Super Bowl and enjoy my stew. And I'm sure you have something super tasty to watch the Super Bowl with and I hope you have enjoyed today's session of cooking this lamb stew with your washer at wareva.com. Remember wareva is all about inspiring others to cook. So please post your recipes and cooking tips so others can benefit from your great cooking. Thank you.